you are now cooking with Free the Keto Coach. Today we are cooking tamales. What? Tamales? Yes. Keto tamales. Give me a second. Hey, hey, we're doing the video. Nobody's hurt. <laughs> All right, guys. Yep, we're cooking keto tamales. I want to show y'all how to make my keto tamales. I did this a while back, and I'm going to show y'all. And uh, so we got the chicken right here. We got the chicken right here. And um, we're going to put the chicken right here. And I'm going to show y'all how to make the masa. Because that's the hardest thing to do on the tamales, the masa. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. All right, so over here, we got the California peppers and we got the, the chili pods in here. We have eight, um, no, 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 my bad, not California, the, um, what do they call it? Jalil, what's it called? Chile de Arbol. No, the other one. Oh, speaking of chili de Arbol, I need to see the other one. Or, oh, uh, Jalil, what do you say that word? Guajillo. Guajillo, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and, and do this real quick. Cool. Right here, I got. Here, Come over there. Come let over me. There. Here. Hold on, hold did on. Close, did you close it? He can't close it. Get over there. Uh, there it goes. It's done. All right. Right here, I got a cup of chicken broth that I was cooking my chicken with, boiling my chicken with. And I got a cup of the sauce that I was cooking my chiles in. All right. And I also got a, um, a tablespoon of um what's it called uh the bullion nor yeah call it. all right here we go we're gonna blend it up with okay so now we're gonna go ahead and add please put it in the sink i will i will Cause it's gonna drip the back onion, there. The onion and, and this is a little bit, uh, two cloves of garlic. Oh shoot! It's you don't need to strain it. Yeah, we will. So do you want to get the onion out? Be fine. Oh. You go back out there. All right, so now we got the, the, the chile. Just, it, you're done with it's, that? Yeah. You so just put it in the sink. No, just oh. leave it in the sink so it doesn't drip. All right. All right, guys, I'm sorry for being a little late, man. We were just, we've been uh, doing all kinds of stuff, so we're running a little late. We're good, though. All right, so we're going to go ahead and drain this out right here. Pretty, pretty color. Look at that pretty color right there. Just carry it over there. I will. I will. You just don't want me to make a mess. I sure don't. The stains countertops. Okay, now we don't want to do that. Right. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and... I guess I can use this, right? Strainer. Right well, where's the strainer? It's not in there because it's... I was looking for it last time and I couldn't find it. So we, what did we use last time? If we couldn't find it last time, what did we use? Do you remember what we used? We need a strainer. Yeah, well, but that's not going to work. You know what? I used the this sifter? Last time. Yeah, I used this last time. It'll be fine. I can't find it. I mean, we got to buy one. I would have bought one. No, right it's before. not about buy here. Did you look in here? Did you look on the bottom over there? No. Who do we all have? Another friend. You have... Um, Dina, Mario, Fernando, Mari, yeah, and Julia Amador. Work, Appreciate you Did guys. you look up here? Appreciate you guys joining me. Let me see if right here. Hold it right here. All right. So what's up, guys? I bet y'all want to know how to make the tamales keto style. And, the, you know, the biggest thing is... People make tamales and they're keto and they don't taste good. But I'm about to show you how to make some tamales where they're going to taste good. They're going to taste real good. All right, so here we go. Appreciate y'all joining us, man. Appreciate y'all. Oh, we got a new thing. We can just wave at y'all? Oh, that's cool. We can just wave at y'all. As y'all come in, I can wave at y'all. I love you, Dad. Oh, cool. Yeah, grab your cup. 
so Malis, man, tamales. And my wife pick a good time to start fasting. Because she won't be able to eat none. She stopped. Yep, she already stopped eating at 8 o'clock. But I'm proud of her. She used to get her fast. Uh, um, what's the difference? You changed it up, up, right? What you did? I used to end up at whatever, but I used to start my coffee. Yeah, so she, she changed up her, her but schedule. I'm, but I'm not doing yeah. that and I actually shout out to Jessica Jeans, man. Hustle Vida, they got so many things going on. Y'all better go check them out, man. Late night, they got everything going on over there. Appreciate y'all joining, man. Appreciate y'all joining. Make sure y'all share, man. I'm, 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 I know I'm just pointing at the sauce right now, but I'm gonna show y'all everything right now. We ain't gonna find it, Lydia. Let's just use that. Somewhere, I just don't know. We ain't gonna find it. Let's use that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my sift, my swifter. What's it called? Swifter? It's yeah. a sifter. Yeah, we're Mexicans. We'll make it happen. So we're gonna go ahead and put this right here, guys, like this, and just bring it down lower so it doesn't. Spin. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. And all we're gonna do is just twist like that, or just go forward, backwards without going. Yeah, I know, I know, Lily. I'm just trying. Well, to I'm just trying to help you. I don't want to make a mess. Make just a mess. trying to help. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Go one forward, backward, not a oh. full I know. As soon as turn. I make a mess, you get mad at me. Me pega. Mm. <laughs> Wish, I don't know. I just said tamales. Wow. I know it's getting closer to Christmas, to Christmas. winter, to fall, and man, guys, do you tamales season. This, do you realize in January, with God's willing, I'll be fifty years old? That's what six months from now. Something? No, it's less. Less. Oh, oh, man. I'll be 50 years old. I, I just can't believe it, man. I don't feel it. I don't look it. I don't even think that way. Hold on. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to push down on it. My hands are clean. I'm going to go ahead and push down on it like this. Don't be afraid to get dirty. We're just going to push down on it like this. Look at that pretty color, guys. Look at that real pretty color right there. Look at that pretty color, guys. And we're just getting all the good juices out of the out of the, the chiles. Look at that, guys. My biggest thing while doing the keto lifestyle, I want to make sure my food has lots and tons of flavor where you don't even know that it's keto, where you like. Man, this taste is so regular. And that's what I want. And you know what? That's what I accomplish. And when that's done, just yeah, just put it when in the that's seat. done, that's when I, I um I know that it's accomplished. Oh my god. Alright guys, now here's the magic. Here is the magic. Can you pass me a paper towel, please? Yeah. Here you go. Make sure you oh, share my video, one. guys. Share as you come right now. Share. Share, share, and share. And invite, invite people, invite people over here. All right, guys. So now we got the sauce that we're going to put into the chicken right there, right? Now I've been telling y'all, I've been telling y'all, where my sauce at? My seasoning. Okay. I've been telling y'all that I got my seasoning coming out. I'm just telling them, just telling them. I've been telling y'all I got my seasoning coming out. Well, I'm practicing, I'm, I'm testing how it is. I know it's going to be good, but I'm testing it out right now. This is one of them right here. Can y'all guess what kind of seasoning this is? Can y'all guess what's in here? It's amazing. So this is going to be one of my seasoning. Right now, I'm, I'm thinking, coming with a logo. As you know, I, I do design and all that, so I'm doing a logo. I know this too. All right. Go over there, honey. So we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to show you how to do this, right? So here, this is the magic right here. Chicken, ground chicken, right? So we're going to get the ground chicken out. And I'm going to show you how we're going to hey, do Rosa. it. Hey, Rosa. We're going to make... Hi, Emily. We're going to make the masa out of this chicken right here. And if you're asking what kind of tamales we're making, we are making chicken tamales. The reason why we're making chicken tamales, the reason why we're making chicken tamales, because we want to be able to have chicken in the inside, and you won't taste the chicken on the outside. But we want to do chicken. Why? Because some people don't like pork. So we're going to go ahead and do this, all right? All right. So now that we got the chicken in here, my seasoning. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. We're going to go ahead and do one tablespoon of seasoning. Hold on. All right. So one tablespoon of seasoning, guys. 
So that ain't gonna fit. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put it right here. And if you get more for that, don't worry about it. It's all goodness, all good stuff right there. So we're gonna one taste per tablespoon. All right. After that, we're gonna go ahead and get the almond flour ready because we are gonna use a little bit of almond flour on here. So you don't brown it? No. Everything's gonna go right now. So we're gonna do the almond flour right here. We're gonna do some manteca, real manteca, guys, real manteca. It's not gonna hurt you. Manteca is good, right? So we're gonna get the manteca. And what you want to do is get a 16 ounce, no matter what kind you get, get a 16 ounce, whatever it is. And we're gonna get a little bit less than a half, right? So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna maybe cut it like about right there, right? Now we're gonna, that's what, that's what we're gonna be working with in a little bit, right? So we're gonna be working with that in a little bit. Now we're gonna go ahead and put some more seasoning in it because I just know I got a lot of chicken. So I'm gonna do one more tablespoon in it. My hands are dirty. We're gonna get a rudder in a little bit. All right. So we're gonna go ahead, and I bet y'all wondering, like, how is he gonna make tamales like that? Guess what? They're gonna be done. So we're gonna go ahead and get another seasoning going, cause why? Wow, you can't never have enough seasoning. All right. Especially this magic stuff. All right. After that, we're gonna go ahead and add two eggs. Right? I got the eggs right here. And it's not your typical. It's not your typical way to make masa. Right? But again, it's keto. And we want it delicious. So we're going to get one egg. We're going to get one egg. And I bet you don't know about that one arm. One hand. One hand, guys. Look, one hand. You just grab it and drop it in like that. Bang. Plus, different is good. There's no one way of doing things. Yes, different is always good. Okay. We got some Simlum, Simlum husk, husk. Rosa said chili powder, garlic, and cumin in your seasoning. That's in there. Yeah, that's, that, is, that is in there but there's a lot of other goodness stuff. All right, so we're gonna do one teaspoon of psyllium sil husk, right? That Karen says hi. Hey, how y'all doing, how y'all doing? All right, and then, where's my baking powder? You move my baking powder? Yeah, I didn't think you were oh, gonna use it. I was gonna use it. All right, here we go. So baking powder? Yes, we're doing one teaspoon of baking powder. Mikey Ramirez, how do you do with one hand? What? Oh, gee. Where did you gain that experience from? Hey, man. I, McDonald's. <laughs> McDonald's. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Yeah. When I was young. I, when... McDonald's. All right. So now we got this done right here. McDonald's training 101. We're going to go ahead and move. Oh, man. That would help to take out. Hold on. We got to take that out. Hold on. All right. No, 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 baby. No problem. Remember, my, my, my videos are real. They're as real as it can be. All right, we're gonna go ahead and, you wanna put your egg all around it right there like that, look, and your, and your husk, husk. We're gonna go ahead and move it all around like this. And you want flavor, flavor after flavor. You wanna make sure you get all your flavors, guys. All right. So for those people joining, can you tell them what you're doing right now? We're making keto tamales. And you're working on the masa? Yes, I'm doing the masa right now. Which is? Uh, chicken. <laughs> ground chicken? Ground chicken. Ground breast chicken. Make sure you get the breast. You can use anything else, but I'd rather use the breast. All right? So ground chicken breast, seasoning, psyllium husk, baking powder. We're going to go ahead and put another spoon of this right here. Because I'm, I'm just, I'm just eyeing it, guys. That's what I'm doing is eyeing it. I want to make sure it got a lot of flavor. It has to have a lot of flavor. So there you go. All right. Now we're gonna get the manteca. Remember the manteca? I'm gonna put the manteca, and now we're just gonna start going around with the manteca on it, like that. And you want to get your hand, you gotta get your hands dirty. Don't be scared not to get your hands dirty. Just start getting your hands dirty. You see? And move. Make sure you get it all around like this. Feel just like my son Hatoa. Hold on. You want to go like that with the manteca. Get closer to get closer to manteca. Get close to it. Manteca? I mean get closer to the to what I'm doing. Alright, make sure you get your hands dirty, guys. Don't be afraid not to get your hands dirty. Get your hands dirty. 
All right. So now that you do this, guess what comes next? Yep, you're right, the almond flour. So we're gonna bring this down. I'm gonna clean my hands a little bit, try to get all this thing off my hands. And now we're gonna get that almond flour going. All right. Is this on something? You don't wanna go. All right. Oh, a piece of garlic. All right. Okay, almond flour, we're doing one cup of almond flour, guys. So, one cup. So we're gonna come over here, and we're gonna get one cup. And guys, if you make this, please hashtag me and say, my keto coach showed me how to do this. Here we go. So one, one thing of almond flour. And now we go back in, and now we get our stuff dirty again. Like that. All right, we're trying to get our stuff. Is it sticky? Yes. Is it gonna be good? Oh my God, yes. So it's gonna go. And make sure you, you don't, again, don't be afraid not to get dirty. You see, do you see how it looks like masa already? It looks real good, just like masa. Hold on. And that's what we're trying to do, is get masa. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing these babies with jalapenos. Show them the jalapenos. With jalapenos and cheese. I'm doing Monterey Jack cheese and I'm doing a Mexican mozzarella cheese. All right, guys. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Oh my God. Don't it look like the real thing? Hold on. People staying on there. They ready. How many, how many people we got on there right now? 26. 26. Come on, guys. We got to get that number up. We got to get that number up. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Kiwi's Life TV, because it's going straight to YouTube in a little bit. Shout out to TikTok, man. TikTok, I'm almost at 17,000. 17,000 followers. Can you imagine that? Mikey said, ya te puedes casar. Huh? You can get married already. Ya I'm te puedes married. casar. Yep, he's married already. I've been married for a long time. Hi. What, 10 years? Yeah. All right. That's not a long time. All right, time. now that we got this going on, we're going to go ahead. No, we're going to get it for 17 years. He's completely 17 years. We're going to go ahead and put a little bit of oil down. A little bit of olive oil down. Right here. So that's like about a what? Tablespoon? Yeah. Yeah, like a tablespoon. We're going to go ahead and put the fire up right here. We're gonna grab the onion. We're gonna put onion in down like that, right? Angelita right says looks good. Rosa said it looks too sticky. Oh, it's gonna be perfect. You gotta understand what I'm, I'm dealing with. You gotta right. understand what he's dealing with, Rosa. Yeah, they're, they're not regular tamales. They're, these are hard to make. They're really hard to make. But you know what? At the end, they're gonna be perfect. The main thing is just being able to put a casing to them. And then we're gonna put them into coma. What? Put them into this right here. Watch it. It's got water in it. We're gonna put them in here, and we're gonna go for 45 minutes, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show y'all. Right now I'm gonna show y'all how to make what to do to y'all meat. Right. So remember I told you we're using chicken. Put my spoon back. My favorite spoon. Mm mm. So guys, I want to let y'all know about the seasonings that I got coming out. Yes, I got my own seasonings coming out. They will be in the stores soon. They'll be uh, on sugaristhedevil.net. You're going to be able to find it there. And they'll be out soon. Right now we're working on the, 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 the cookbook. Cookbook's getting done, guys. It's getting done every day. Dina said, make some that are not hot. Not hot. Ooh, it's hot. Joseph said... All right, guys, we're going to put the chicken down right when here. When can they pick them up? Huh? When can they pick them up? The, the seasonings? Rose, are you talking about the seasonings or the tamales? She'll come back right now. All right, guys, I chopped the meat. I, I, didn't, I could have put it in the Ninja since my wife said it cuts everything. But um, I decided to do it with my hand. So you just shredded it? Yeah. So we're gonna let it go with the onion right here. <coughs> Cindy right. wants to know, what did I miss? How did you make the masa? How the chicken, ground chicken. Ground chicken. Ground chicken. Seasonings. Manteca, seasonings. 
psyllium uh, husk, psyllium husk, and almond flour. Yeah, and um, one teaspoon of baking powder. Oh, Rosa said that tamales. When can she pick them up? Oh, tamales. Shoot, she knows whenever. How's she doing? This chicken is already cooked. It was yeah. already uh, pre-shredded as well. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and, and put it. One of my more magic. My own seasoning, guys. I'm so happy. I'm so happy they didn't even in storage yet, guys. But, oh, shoot. There we go. We ain't going to worry about it. So, guys, this seasoning, the good thing about my seasoning, it doesn't have the cake. It doesn't have that extra stuff, the dexter, whatever they put, whatever it's called, the dexter stuff. What, what's some other well, stuff the caking. Yeah, it don't have the caking. It doesn't have any flour in yeah, it. Yeah, it don't have no flour. It don't have no rice. It don't have... Extra salt. Extra salt. You know, it's just natural. Everything is natural in it, guys. Everything is natural. And that's how all my seasonings are going to be. If you get cayenne, that's all you're going to get is cayenne. And everything is made with pink salt. If not, it's made with um, uh, sea salt. But mostly pink salt. Why? Because I like all the minerals and everything gets you. All right, guys. So there we go. We got the chicken frying up with it like that. I couldn't find my favorite spoon, but anyway. All right. And I was waiting for, I got an apron coming, guys. I got an apron getting done. Thanks to Mark telling me, you should get your apron done. So I said, all right, I'm going to get my apron done. But it ain't here yet. So they're probably still working on it. All right, guys, so there it goes. We got the seasoning. Now we're going to get oh. the sauce. Excuse me. Now we're going to get the sauce. And now we're going to put the sauce down like this. Right? That's that sauce. The chiles and all that good stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and make make move with the chile like this, like this, guys. See, do you see what I'm doing? All right, guys. And now, and now we start getting the the male smell and and everything, cause it smells like the male's up in here. I promise you that. My wife like, oh, I shouldn't start the fast in a day. Hold on. Oh uh, well. Tomorrow. You can eat tomorrow. I'm gonna eat today, guys. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna plate this. And I'm going to show you how the tamale is going to look just like a tamale. <laughs> Dina said, oh my goodness, it's going to be delicious. Are there any houses for sale next door to y'all? <laughs> I'm not even sure. Okay, might be, hey, you know, Katie's a good place to live at. I Our neighborhood know. always has... Yeah. Always has homes. It seems like every summer. Karen said, will the cookbook be keto or Tex-Mex? Well, I'm gonna question. Will keto it be? Well, it's going to be a oh, keto okay. book. Oh my God! Tell them what we got on there. Tell them what we put with, on What? Tell them we put on there yesterday. With menudo. Yeah, we but menudo yesterday. it's fully keto, but it's going to be uh, a variety of uh, of words, recipes, uh, not just Tex-Mex, but yeah, a variety. Words, it has my fried chicken on there. It's gonna have my Italian, how to make Italian sauces. Uh, and the Italian sauce that I make here that I haven't gave out is going to have all that. It's going to have, I uh, made my lettuce wraps, my Chinese lettuce wraps. So it's going to have a lot of stuff. What's up? Um, Lisa Zuniga is asking what's in the sauce, the bread sauce? Uh, guajillo. I said it right, right? Uh, guajillo, guajillo chiles. It's, it's eight guajillo chiles. And it's uh, three... Mexico chiles, uh, they're called let me, I can show them. the chiles de arbol. No, Chile Mexico, Ch Mexico chiles. Uh, they're just called Chile Mexico. It says Mexico chile pods. That's what they're called. Dang it, dang it, dang it. And of course, everything in my seasoning. So he boiled them to make them tender, and then they were blended and pureed with some onion. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and taste my meat because I want to I want to make sure it tastes good. Let me taste my meat real quick. Let's see. Mm. Oh, my God, that's good. I need some more seasoning. Jason said he really wished he had the motivation to cook as much as you. Me too, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Jason or Justin? No seeds, uh, Jason. Okay. Lisa, no seeds for the for the peppers. He no. no, de-seeded them and then he boiled them so that they were ready to, I'm put to some blend. Salt, guys. I'm put some extra salt because it needs salt right there. So pink salt. Yes. And now this is ready. This is. I wish my wife could taste this right now. Oh my God, I wish she could taste this. Guys, I had made everything I make. I take my time. Like I made tamales before. And we made them and they were good, but the problem was the casing. 
We didn't the have masa. yeah. The masa was hard to do, and it, you have to eat them fast. If not, they will fall apart. And I wanted to avoid that, so I figured well, there's got to be a way to do it. There's got to be a way to do it. And what I do, guys, I just stay up and think about ways and just do some stuff that people hasn't tried. I don't know if they tried this. I'm not sure. Maybe they have. I'm not, I'm not sure. I I got this idea because I seen somebody using the chicken to for the sausage to make sausage and stuff like that. So. Linda right, says guys. hi. Tilly says hola. Hey Tilly, how you doing? All right, so we're gonna go ahead. Oh, baby, you keep me. hitting this. We're gonna go ahead and do some. You want pepper like this, okay? Everybody has pepper, but you want pepper like this. You want this kind of pepper, peppercorn. That's what you want on here, some peppercorn. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some more garlic. We're gonna go ahead and put some more garlic. We're gonna go ahead and put a teaspoon of garlic in it. Susie said, Susie said, looks yummy. Right there, garlic. We also got fresh garlic. Remember I did some fresh garlic on it already too? All right. And you just wanna let it cook, see? Guys, oh my God, I can eat it just like this. I don't even have to case it. I could just eat it like this. I appreciate all you guys. Make sure you share. Make sure you share right now. Go share right now. While you're watching it, share. Do that favor for me. Share, share, share. Appreciate you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, there we go. All right, so now I told my wife to buy the little palita, but she said I she didn't need it. And I said, I need the palita, babe. So I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of them for y'all. Ruben Cortez said, I want a dozen along with the cookbook. <laughs> um, babe, is there any way to work How are we going to do it? I, I thought you said we were going to do two parts. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just show them real quick, real fast, how do I, how I do it. And then um, I need you to. Uh, well, hold on. That's why I said you need to set up a little station. No, no. What is for this the. Is fine. Yes. Okay, okay, that's fine. Yes. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna see if I remember the way my mom told me how to do it. Um, when we were little, we used to do this for my mom. My mom, we had no choice. We had to do them. And I was like, Mom, I don't know how to do it. He better tell you better do it. Yeah, she's probably, looking, she's probably looking at me right now. Hold on. All right. So we're going to go ahead and do this mini right here right now. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. What you say you're doing with the, the, the knife? How about we do this? I mean, it's up to you. I, I haven't worked with that. The other masses I've worked with, I just... That's why I, told, that's I was why, just that's spreading. Why, that's why I told you. But the thing is, if you yeah. haven't worked with that masa, it's hard to determine that's why I told the you consistency. Too. But that's why I told you to um, Hold on, let me close that up. give me a little palita. You're fine. I'm sure your mom had nothing special. Oh, the your hands. mom just did it and she was she a pro at hands. it. She had them hands. Look at it. Work. It's working. Look at that. Look, guys. Look how it's just going on there. Look at that. And see, when I did it last time, it was hard to, to even get it like the way I wanted to get it. It wouldn't spread. It was very yeah. thick. And this time it's spreading. So we're going to go ahead and do that one. We're gonna Rick Torres said, is the chicken supposed to be dry? Yeah. Yeah, because you're going to cook it right now. Everything's going to be cooked. What dry, what dry is it talking about? This oh, right here? I don't know. Maybe the, this one over here. That's not dry? I don't understand the question. Go ahead and say it again. I don't where's understand your, the question. Where's your spoon? Somebody suggested with the spatula. That's what they, yeah, that's yeah, they did. Yeah, you know what? I, I was going to do it like that. But my wife had mentioned with the knife. So I want to see how she... I'll do it like that and see how her thing's going to work out. And then I do it with the spatula, but it's fine. It's it's working, it's working. That's that's all I wanted to do is work. See how it's coming? It's coming together. See, and maybe I might be putting too much masa. You know how when you buy some tor tomales and they got way too much masa? I don't like that. I like. A so thin. why are you not spreading it thin then? That'd be fine. I just said I don't like it. I didn't say I, I don't. I gotta. All right, guys. So that's all we're doing. A little masa. Did I cover the whole month, the thing? Mm, That's fine. Yes. That's fine. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and put some meat in there. Put some meat. Like this. Meat. Some meat. Y'all making my meat fall. <laughs> some meat. Maybe I need some more steam. Okay. All right. 
And then we're gonna do is do a jalapeno, one jalapeno, put a jalapeno right here, do another jalapeno right here, do another jalapeno right here, do another jalapeno right here, and then we'll get the cheese out and we're gonna do cheese. What I got right here, I got some Monterey Jack and I got some mozzarella. So we're gonna do one Monterey Jack and one mozzarella. Ma and it's the mozzarella, it's the, um, it's the Mexican kind of mozzarella for like for quesadillas. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put this right there, it's fine. Right there. It's quiet, huh? <laughs> All right. Valerie says she can't hear you. I don't, Valerie, I think. It's her phone. <laughs> Can everybody else hear me? Can everybody else hear me? Can everybody else hear me? Thumbs up if you can hear. Yeah, let me know. I'm sure they can hear me. Yeah, I have to. I have to. I was. I was looking for this mic, but I couldn't get this mic. Now, how do you? How do you wrap them up? I forgot that part. Let's see. Well, you're supposed to roll. Yeah, Lisa said yes. Come on. She can hear you. Come on, Jennifer said yes. Well, you just bring one side over. Right, and then they close. Right. Well, you got to bring that one tighter. That one's really full. Right. Now, you you have to remember, I wasn't, I'm I'm not Mexican. Oh, yeah, she does So, Salvadorian. I'm not, we never this, made right? these tamales. We're Salvadorian, so we made them with, yeah. with, um, yeah, so them, 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 with them. hojas de, de, de platano. Yeah, where's my wax paper? Um, here we go. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and do this right here. They might not look pretty, but they're gonna be so delicious. And that's all I'm worried about, deliciousness. Mikey said, you need to start your own cooking show. This is what that is. <laughs> <laughs> you mean food network status? <laughs> they don't, they don't, I don't think they allow it. All right. We so could fly you over. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and close it, guys, like this. We're gonna put in the wax paper. We're gonna put the wax paper down like this. We're gonna wrap the wax paper. We're gonna put it like this and like that. And we're gonna put them into the pot. Fold tips to the back. I know. They said. Well, yeah. just sit them on the side. We're not gonna we're not gonna put them oh, in there okay. yet because it's okay. it's too bulky right now. All right, guys, we're coming back. Part two coming back. We're gonna plate them for you. I'm gonna eat them for you, and I'm gonna show you how good they are. Thank you, guys. Please appreciate it. Please share. If you can't remember anything I said, show. Remember, sugar is the devil. All right, see you in a little bit. Bye bye.